Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to choose the IP camera for hotel project. Before we move ahead, I would like to introduce the concept pixel density. What is the pixel density? It's about how much pixel we could have per feet. If the pixel density is higher, we are getting much more detail from the object, such as like facial detail, car plane. If the pixel density is low, we are getting the flashy image. There's always trade-off between the pixel density and field of view, just how wide the camera can see. If we want to have the much more, we want to increase the pixel density, we may need to sacrifice the field of view. For example, if we use this camera, this is for 4 megapixel IP camera to watch the whole football playground, the pixel density will become very low because the camera needs to cover the large area. But if we zoom in this camera just pointing to the single spot at the entrance, the pixel density will be very high. Okay, now let's make the quick test. First, let me switch the control to the another camera. This is the camera, the live camera. Now we, we see in the large area. Okay, I also want to swap the screen output to this big screen so we can see more clear. Now this is the screen. I will operate the camera through this control. The camera is watching the large area. But you can see the pixel density is low. We almost cannot recognize. We can see the object, but we cannot recognize the car, the facial detail. Okay, let me use the zoom function. This camera has built-in motorized zoom. If you zoom in the camera, now we can see more clear image. This is about the pixel density. We need to have trade-off between the detail of the object and field of view because the resource of the camera is, has a limit. There has a limit result, result. Okay, now let's move to the camera. Here we have the large camera, Pentel zoom camera. This is the dome camera with motor, motorized zoom. This is the camera we saw on the live video. We use this bullet camera. Let's start from the lobby. In the lobby, we may need to have some of the, this dome camera, it's look more nice and just use the zoom function to point into the entrance. It's going to catch the up detail of the object like the facial when people walk in, walk out. That's one way, so we may need the zoom camera. And you also can use this small camera to play on the check-in check to watching the, I mean the operation on the check-in check out. For the meeting room, we may need this small dome camera. It's more, look more nice. Also, the I mean the floor on each of the floor, we also can use this small camera. Even the lip when the people walk out, because this camera equal with the neutral wide angle, it's about 90 degrees. And how about outside of the building? If the outside of the building, I will recommend to use this bullet camera. The reason is look more it's looks it's more strong. Actually, it's also look it will become intimidated for the criminal. They will see that's the camera. Okay, it's okay if you place this camera outside. Okay, how about this Panda zoom camera? What this camera can do? The camera can zoom in and zoom out and also pan and tap. You can place one of these cameras in the lobby or when the people walking around. And in the control room, you can control the panda zoom and zoom out and tracking the people when they're walking around. That's the way to use the panda zoom camera. You also can use this panda zoom camera outside the perimeter. Especially some place we cannot put the camera close to the spot we want to watch. We can place this panda zoom camera a little bit far and use the zoom function to cover the area. As this panda zoom camera has very powerful 30 optical 30, 30 time optical zoom. So when the camera zoom in, this one, what we just saw, it's just six just four time optical zoom. But for this one we got 30 time optical zoom. We zoom in the camera. Completely, we can see the object like the facial, the car plane, even for the scene we test just now. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.